going on on our Saturday. You probably have a lot of plans going on. So these winds, let's get to it first and foremost. Wind advisory, it just went into effect and it will be in the forecast until 9 p.m. Gusts out of the south about 45 miles per hour will be with us periodically throughout the day today. Julie, there's not enough hairspray that can hold this hair down. No, it's a so ponytail day. It's a ponytail. Men I step outside, it's going to be a different story. <laughs> All right, winds right now gusting up. We're about 25. Some areas now 30 miles per hour at this time. 33 over to Copan, 30 over to Blackwell, 32 to Four Acre. As we go through the next couple hours, watch what happens by about 11, 12 o'clock today. So just within the next two to three hours, we'll see those wind gusts upward of about 40 to 45 miles per hour and likely to stay with us as we will still continue to deal with some of the peak wind gusts into the afternoon. Noon. And by the evening hours, this is at 11 p.m., winds will come down to about 20 to 25 in most locations. 61 degrees here for Tulsa. Looking out live, use our Wade's RV weather camera network. We've got a lot of wind songs going on, including Shake It Off right now. Southeasterly winds, 17 miles per hour, dew point around 40, 62 for that high with a low of 57. 61 here for Tulsa at this hour, 61 over to Mulgee, 60 over to Tahlequah, 61 over to Miami. Strong and gusty south winds today. That's going to be the main theme as we go throughout the next several hours. Those winds again will be periodically gusting about 40 to 45 miles per hour. We'll see some cloud coverage, but then bursts of sun. So make sure that you have those sunglasses. 79 for that high temperature for today, 80 down to McAllister, 78 over to Poto. Here's our setup and why those winds are so powerful. We do have a storm system that will slide through. Look right now like the worst of it will be to the north of us over to Kansas, but we could see an isolated strong to severe storm and we'll be living very long in our area. No widespread severe weather is anticipated. Severe weather outlook. This is latest updates from the Storm Prediction Center. Wind and hail would be of main concern in one of the strongest storms that would potentially be developing upward of 70 mile per hour wind gusts on top of what we're already dealing with. So prepare for winds for today, no matter ahead of the storm or during the storm. Future track on radar pulling in a little bit tighter as to what we're looking at. You can see that cloud coverage will be with us intermittently throughout the day today with those storms rolling through later on tonight. 51 for that overnight low, so still staying warm even after that system passes. Look at those temperatures even into your Sunday around 76 below 48. Yeah, we, Julie, we got something going on Monday. <laughs> yeah, a little something a little and we something. see that that little clever eclipse on your Thanks, seven day. I love that 77 for the high. We are tracking some showers and storms, but does that mean the cloud coverage will get here before and interrupt any viewing plans? We'll talk more about that coming up. We're still got another 40 minutes left in the show. Mm -hmm. Don't go anywhere. Also, listen to this crack.